Excuse me. Very good. Nice. So I woke up this morning and I realized that there was a dinosaur on or around my porch last night. The reason that I say dinosaur is because what other animal do you know that poops orange? What is that? <laughs> All I know is I'm not cleaning it. Someone's gonna clean this up. It's not gonna be me. Hey, Karen. Karen. Hey, Karen. 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 There's... Uh, what are your thoughts on dinosaurs, exactly? Excuse me? Very good. Nice. Hey guys, so I just wanted to go over something really quick that may save your life one day. It's what not to do when vacuuming your house, especially with one of these air twirler vacuum type. They can be very dangerous. So I went on the Googles to find out more about it. Apparently some guy in Ohio, another guy in Nevada, lost their lives because of this. They really got hurt bad. So I just wanted to go over it and show you what not to do. Very important. Okay, so let me turn it on and I'll, I'll describe it to you. Just whatever you do, just don't. Do, just make sure that you do not do that one thing. I think everybody's gonna be okay. The kids will be safe. And that's pretty much it. I hope this helps. So be safe. Happy cleaning. Excuse me. Very good. Nice. No, I know, Karen. I know. But listen, there's nothing that we can do about it at this point, right? What's done is done. You live and you learn. That's it, right? Just, it's a lesson. Now at least you know what it is, right? So you won't make the same mistake twice. The only thing you can do at this point, just put it behind you, just go to sleep, get some rest, and I'll talk to you in the morning, all right? All right, good night. All right, here's the situation right now. Karen, she was in the city. While she was walking around the city doing her thing, you know, going from place to place, running her errands and whatnot, some guy stopped her and said that he had a bunch of Bitcoin, $1,000 worth, give to her for $500. I don't know, he made up some excuse, like he just, he needed the cash instead of the actual coins. Karen bought them. So she spent $500 on what she thought was $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. Karen obviously doesn't know what Bitcoin is. What the guy gave her was this. These coins. Karen told me about this earlier today. After I calmed down and she stopped crying, we discussed it a little bit more and, you know, she was like, well, can we at least try to find out what these are worth? If we can, maybe they're worth something. Maybe we can bring them to a pawn shop, a jeweler place, and see, you know, how many carats of gold they are. And I said, no, no, they're garbage. She was adamant about it. She's like, come on, why can't we just go in there and find out, you know, you never know. Maybe it's something we can get a couple bucks at least back, you know, it's $500 down the drain. I said, yeah, that $500 is gone and you're not getting anything for it. So she kept pushing. How do you know we can't just find out? Let's just bring it. If you don't want to bring it, I'll bring it. And I said, listen, I'm going to save you the trouble. So she got upset with me and she's like, well, how do you know that they're not worth anything? Let's at least try, let's go, let's just find out. I said, no, Karen, the reason that I know these aren't worth anything is because they're freaking chocolate, Karen. You bought $500 worth of chocolate coins, Karen. Damn it, Karen. Damn it, Karen. Excuse me. Very good. Nice.